Hi there guys, welcome to another video. Today we are at Australia Zoo, just north of Brisbane, uh, sort of between Brisbane and the Sunshine Coast. Um, it's a lovely day, it's about 26, 27 degrees, a bit cloudy which is a good thing because to be honest we would absolutely fry out here. And today we're just going to be showing you what Australia Zoo is like, um, what kind of attractions there are for kids and just really showing you how you can have a really good day out in North Brisbane. So some important things about our visit today. First things first, the price. The cost to get into Australia Zoo per adult is about 60 bucks. So 120 bucks is what we pay today because for Aurora at her age, you don't really have to pay for babies. There is a fee for children. I'm not sure what age that starts, but the fee for children is 40 bucks to enter. It can be something which if you've got quite a large family, it can be expensive. And I suppose if you did some pre-booking of tickets, you would get it a little bit cheaper or they have a fee for a family instead. Best to check on the website for those types of things before planning your visit. Right now, it's just after Christmas. It's the middle of summer, so you'd expect it to be quite busy. While we're here for this morning, it has been really, really busy, but it's slowly started to peter off throughout the day. Also, over summer, it doesn't really rain too much, but this is kind of considered the wetter part of the season. Thankfully today, we've been quite lucky with the weather. It's been dry, it's been warm, and also it's been a little bit cloudy and overcast, as you can see behind me. And that's actually made it a little bit better for things like just not frying in the Queensland heat. Food options, there is actually a really, really big food court over by the Croco Museum, or Croc is Crocoseum. It's got like, some weird Australian name that they try to bastardize two words into each other. But there is a really, really big food court over there. Lots of different food options, some healthy, none, some not necessarily so healthy. We just went for some chips and I think Matt got like a beef sausage roll. It's nothing on a Greg's, but it'll do. Price wise, it was reasonable. I think we spent about 20 bucks, including a drink for the both of us. Aurora had a bit of a nibble, although I'd recommend pre bringing along some stuff for little kids because the options don't necessarily seem to be the most healthy. Loads of seating, loads of space, and in general, it does get a bit busier towards the lunchtime, so try and plan it when you're not visiting at those kind of hours. There seems to be a lot of things here that's kind of as extra, and I suppose if that's kind of what you're into, then that can be a great thing. We've had a look and we've seen some giraffe feeding, they've got meat the lemurs meet lots of animals in general some behind the scenes stuff they've got like an animal hospital and to be honest if you're willing to pay for those kind of extra things then that's all fully catered for here they've got segway tours you don't really need them in order to have a really really good day out uh, we've seen some of the shows the croc shows they've got birds in that as well um, the tiger show was actually really really good baby tigers jumping everywhere I mean, who doesn't like a baby tiger jumping around? You don't necessarily need all of those extra things in order to have a really, really good day out. I wouldn't say it's the biggest zoo in the world, um, but there's definitely enough to kind of keep you entertained throughout the day. You know, we got here at nine o'clock and it's nearly four, so we've done pretty much everything that needs to be done. But generally speaking, it's a great day out for kids, great day out for families and we're just blessed with the weather here in Queensland. For kids as well, you've got the splash park, you've got like a little parky bit where there's what I would describe as a trampoline of death with just loads of kids jumping on it. But Aurora enjoyed the splash park. You all right, Spud? Aurora enjoyed the splash park, great for kids, make sure you bring your swimmers. Adults, if you really need your swimmers, but to be honest, in this heat, you dry out pretty quick anyway.
Okay, long day, all finished now. Long day, but fun day. Mel, yeah. what was your best bit? I liked the Tiger Show. That was pretty good. Yeah, Tiger Show that, is pretty decent. That was quite impressive. Especially as we've been to sort of Thailand and we've seen tigers in Thailand and they're not really tigers when they're all doped up. To see them kind of a little bit more, not natural, because they were reared from cubs and stuff, as they said, but yeah. to actually see them a little bit more in a nice manner, it is decent to see. Aura, you all right? What was your best bit? She has not slept all day. This has like been a great day for her, but she's took it all in. It's, uh, it's, five, it's like five o'clock and it's still warm. I mean, to be honest, outside, the best time to visit is kind of like in the afternoon, especially in summer, like the heat of the day, it's just sweltering. And thank God we were having some food. Hang on a minute. On that note, if you want to visit sort of in the afternoon, that is the absolute best time to visit if you want to see like koalas and kangaroos yeah. close up. We were just walking back from the Africa zone and it was dead there was absolutely no one there and we got to uh, like no queuing for touching koalas got to see all the kangaroos up close there wasn't all like loads of crazy people trying to get a picture and a photo as well so don't try and get here early doors and expect to be like the only people here because we turned up bang on nine o'clock and there was everyone trying to get into the park it was really really busy so it's a great time to visit in the afternoon leave it a little bit later the car park's pretty empty now everyone's gone sort of leave it for then and that is the best time to get sort of up close and personal with the animals but what else did you enjoy i just enjoyed walking around the zoo really yeah like getting out and being with some um new friends that we have um, it's a nice, nice family day out. Yeah, it's a nice Great zoo. for kids. It's a good zoo. What didn't you like though? I didn't think the, the croc show was anything special. Considering the crocosseum is like a huge, there's like 5,000 people that can sit in there. Yeah. The actual show, apart from the crocs, and let's face it, secretly deep down, you want the croc to bite the guy. <laughs> apart from the crocs, mm, they try and do a little bit of a warm up y thing for the crowd. <sighs> I don't know, maybe Australians like it, but it's a bit wasted on British people. Also, like walking through some of the like more wetland exhibits, if you don't bring mozzie spray, especially in the summer, you are going to get eaten alive. They must love There's this, this like... again. She's gone round and round. I don't know what she's doing. She obviously wants to see a bit of that Johnson life, don't she? Now, but if you're pommy, they just love pommy blood, I think, or just definitely foreigner blood. Bring some... Well, definitely bring some sunscreen, but I was going to say bring some mozzie spray because otherwise those mozzies are going to eat you alive. <laughs> Aurora needs to sleep in the back. So on that note, we're going to leave you there. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If it's helped you sort of decide, do you want to come to Australia Zoo? Is it one of the things that you want to see? Then, you know, definitely give us a thumbs up so that we know that you we want to make more of these videos for you. And please check out our channel. Our video is all about us, a UK family moving over to Australia. If this video has inspired you to want to make that move, make that move to Brisbane, then check out our channel. Have a look at some of the other videos and hopefully give us a subscribe and you'll be able to see when we put out some new videos for you. But until then, thanks a lot. See you next time.